Hi, everyone. We are recording via Riverside FM, who now sponsors us. And this is the second time we're doing this because I am recording using a shotgun, a battery powered shotgun mic that is fantastic for on camera recording. But I don't currently have the space for a proper XLR setup because I'm still in my cramped townhouse. I don't get to move to a proper house in Nova Scotia till next year. Also, Jazzy's back. Hi, Jazzy. Hi. It's good to be back. For the second time. For the second time, it's good to be back. <laughs> Turns because out when you battery used... died. Yeah. <laughs> and towards the end, your, your volume just went... <laughs> towards the end, it was just nothing. Also, patrons may be no saying, you can see our faces. Oh my We're god, you can see color. our faces. We're in color and full Technicolor. motion. Technicolor even. Oh. oh, you see, this is very weird and retro because it's like an FMV game. It's like a knife it's... trap. Jazzy, you're in a house of wood paneling. You're going to get attacked by like a vampire or something. I, I hope you get attacked by a vampire. Jeez, that sounds nice. <laughs> I was going to say, talking about weird and retro. Why I've been gone and why I'm talking through an iPhone headset right now is I am in the midst of renovating my new house. Yay. Woo. That's one of the things we're going to be talking about today because we're going over some like sick previews for the channel and it's all very exciting. It's the so big summer announcement spectacular. The big gamer announcement spectacular. Because I don't know what else to call say. it. To start off, Ted though... Oh, sorry. I keep interrupting. Oh, sorry. No, no, me too. I'm excited. The one thing I gotta mention, I've been alone the past 17 months. It has worn out my sanity, as you know. My fiancé is finally gonna be home. Uh, probably by the time this goes out. We record episodes so far in advance. This is probably going out towards the end of September. But it is July still. And on August 15th, my fiance is going to be home. We're going on a trip to Vancouver. I'm starting a timer, but we're going to, if the aquarium's open, we're going to go there. If not, uh, we'll probably get nice food in Chinatown. Wonderful. Yes. But why have you been gone the past three weeks and then off and on? Well, that? as Pat and Ian and say on the CU podcast, we've got big, big news. Big, big news. Big, to talk big about. news. Big news. Big, big news. <laughs> I bought a house, and it has taken every fiber of my being to keep myself together through this hell of a process in this market. Why are you? Why, why are we dabbing? Because you got a house. Oh, also, yes. By the oh, way, for, okay, for I can dab on patrons, <laughs> for those a dollar a month, not only do you get the episodes a week early, but you're going to get to see your beautiful, luscious faces. And I actually meet it in my case because I am two sessions into laser now. I've been starting to take care of my face. I've been like putting like more lotion on oh, and everything. So, good. so, so good. So essential. I found the beginnings of a wrinkle because I'm 26 and I'm dressed the hell out. So I'm, I found a wrinkle in like the crease, like below my lip. And I'm just like, no. So I, I've been like taking care of myself a little bit more, but congratulations on laser. That's such a huge milestone. Well, thank you. Congrats on the house. Your game room that you're recording in, and I know it's not furnished, it adds the most beautiful wood paneling. Like, I love it. It's so retro. <laughs> yes. I feel like you broke into Clint from LGR's house. Do I even need game consoles? Do I even need furniture? I have the wood paneling here. This is all you need, baby. I can, I'm proud of you, Jazz. This is what it's all about back You're on here. your way to starting Thank your own you. thrift Thank store. You. Oh, God. Yuck. You know, there was a part of me that was just like, Maybe I should make like the AVGN and set up like a video store, like a blockbuster in my basement, but it's just for me. And then you're thinking, what was I thinking? <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> All right, but what you got in the pipeline? Because after a uh, December, January, February, like eight month wait, you're actually making videos again, which is way hype. <laughs> yes. I made the Club Penguin video and everyone's like, this is great, more. And I said, in response to that, but I am finally making new videos again. Um, thanks to in part by, I was really freaking busy and kind of depressed, but we're not going to talk about that because I'm better now. But um, new house means new workspace 
And also, in the other half of the basement, what you don't see right now is my workshop. And it has a bench and tools mm -hmm. and everything. And I was already planning on doing a video where I upgraded GameCube, um, a DOL 101. Excuse Ooh, me. <laughs> big, big yawn. yawn. Big yawn. Big, big, big yawn. yawn. Upgrading a DOL 101 to have a digital output, uh, output slot thanks to Castlemania Games. And Jamie and I were talking and we were like, well, I want to make stuff. Why don't we just spin this off into a whole series of videos on the channel called Stuff We Make? And it's me, Jazzy, a maker, making things. And that's what it is. So the GameCube is one of them. We're going to do more talking about like soldering essentials. We're going to talk about all sorts of other projects. What I'm really excited for is when it's sitting right next to me. This is a very, very large... Oh, I just realized. I don't want to dox myself. <laughs> <laughs> so this that is a does big not box have your address on it. Plastic. That totally does... Is it... Oh, hi. Hi, hon. What's up? What you doing? I'm looking for things. You're, you're looking for things. What are you looking for? Everyone, it's our right special there. guest has arrived. Uh -huh. Jazzy's boyfriend. Give it up for him. <laughs> Woo! What a gamer. Give, what a gamer. Give it for my boyfriend. I mean, you know, I mean, to be fair. Jamie to be fair. You a gamer. To be fair, I, did, I mean, I did send him that PS1 copy of Diablo. Anyone willing to drop a hundred Canadian dollars on a PS1 game is a gamer. Indeed. And he's also... We've been really, really enjoying uh, Diablo and yes. Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Speaking Memories as well. Things, while you're doing this, this is a perfect excuse for me to finally restore that Vic-20 because we've been talking about I'm like, that seems fun. <laughs> I'm like, your maker stuff is fun. Yes. It is very, very fun. Yes. Oh, duh. Back on track. Here we are. So I'm going to be making from this box... Inside of here is a Citadel Realm of Battle board. And what that is, is a very, very expensive piece of plastic. What's on the piece of plastic is an entire terrain board for uh, Warhammer 40,000 that is officially produced by Games Workshop to have, like, scenery related to Warhammer. So I'm going to be building a full gaming table devoted to housing this board and having like special visual effects like like smoke and fog and then like little lights on the street corners and everything and just really go all out with this. Uh, and then also talk about ways that people can make their own on the cheap because there's a lumber shortage right now. So I'm going to go through some ways to make something that's functional, maybe not all the way aesthetically pleasing, but once the lumber shortage is over, I'm going to Go back and remake it so it looks like a fancy uh, Apple yeah. Store table, all that good stuff. Well, no, I'd love to talk to you about it as well. Uh, yeah. I'm talking about the wiring, so I'm like, ah, this takes me back to my train layout days. I'm like, oh. it is remarkably similar I'm to like, model please, train like, scenery. Yeah, that's yes. right. You've let me go off on Woodland Scenics and how good their stuff is. Which is funny because we were talking about. I was asking you for advice on like transformers and stuff, and just sort of through happenstance. Big yawn. Excuse me. Big yawn. Big big yawn. big yawn. Big yawn. Big yawn. So through just sort of through happenstance, I showed you the Tau army from Warhammer 40k, which is for the uninitiated, literally just gun models, and you're just like, ooh. This speaks my interest. I like that. <laughs> then your wallet. I don't packs. understand any of it. My knowledge of gunpla, like another different series yes. and generations and stuff. And I know this because one year I had a, a booth at a con right next to a gunpla seller, and we got along well. And I learned a lot about gunpla that weekend because he was a good dude. But <laughs> like you know, I bet it's cool. I like it. My wallet will weep once I've moved and I have nice glass cases to put all the figures in along with my more rare game consoles. Indeed. Oh, big yawn. So that's what I've got going on is I'm, I purchased 
am currently renovating and moving into a new house and making cool videos, which is why I've been gone for so long, but it's good to be back. Um, and also good to be making yeah, video well, I mean, podcasts. Because what's cool is really, we start, really cool. we, we're randomly inspired to try Riverside. Actually, back when we recorded with Neil from Retro Man Cave, or uh, RMC as it's now called, and Neil was like, hey, RMC, it's great. Did you see that oh, there, he's RMC. actually starting a retro computer coloring book? I know. I'm like, that actually sounds oh, I amazing. Love it. I want but, that coloring book. Uh, I want to color, uh, I want to color, color a ZX Spectrum. Well, I want to color 64. a, um, <laughs> help me out here. Fame, Commodore crazy, 64. But no, maybe. <laughs> um, but like when we had him on, he was like, oh, you should try Riverside. And we were like, you know, we like this. And then we recorded one set of episodes with them. And they're like, hey, you, you want us to give you an affiliate link? So that happened. And we're liking it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking. Now of, we're sponsored by them. And speaking of money and stuff, I did a 10 hour charity stream yesterday. Oh, before I talk about, should I tell the Ouya thing that's happening? Okay. Let's talk about the stream first. Then yeah, we'll talk I about think the that's Ouya. note to end that's on. That's like one of the most the exciting parts. Notes at like 20 seconds. So, uh, charity stream. I did a stream to support Trans Lifeline the day before uh, recording this episode today. <laughs> A fantastic organization. We raised several hundred dollars. I hit a Twitch channel point goal over on twitch.tv slash Jamie underscore plays underscore stuff. And I was like, all right, the, the goal was basically uh, give me this exorbitant amount of channel points I wasn't expecting to hit. And I would do a Streets of Rage series marathon. I did. I was like, well, shit, if I'm doing like an eight to ten hour stream that did end up being close, like over ten hours, you know, I might as well make it a charity stream. I know we, we raised a good, like, we raised hundreds of dollars, which impressed me for a stream that I announced Tuesday and then did Thursday. And, you know, I wasn't expecting it right. either, but I actually did beat the entire Streets of Rage series. One, two, three, four, uh, several paths on Remake, plus we played mm -hmm. a good few hours of the survival mode from the Streets of Rage 4 DLC. Uh, and then because we hit a goal on stream, I also streamed some Alex Kidd Miracle World DX, which is a good game, even if hard as hell. But yeah, I, I will say I don't vibe with the Excellent. fact that you die in one hit, but, but I also it's a game from the 80s, so I can't be too chunky. Yeah. You know? What were they I thinking? I say, are you going to channel your AVGN with the one No, life? what I am doing, though... What were they thinking? So, uh, I am James, doing, I'm working you. on a sponsored vid right now. This is going to be a 20,000 sub special. I talk a lot about Epic Games and more uh, in Victoria, BC. You could say I've been simping them since 2016 on the channel. Uh, <laughs> simping since 2016. <laughs> since 2016. <laughs> That's like the that's like the one shirt I designed. It's like my last name. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. Pitching and catching since 2020. Of, that, of uh, Lou jokes, I, I was like, well, how am I going to start an Ouya video? First off, it's not going to be an art of failure. I'm working on an art of failure, but I'm like on my non AOF stuff because between that and jazz maker stuff, I'm going to let myself just have fun with. You know, the, the, the other stuff more, right? You know, I'm not feeling emotionally dead inside anymore. My fiance is going to be home. I'm not forced to be alone because of uh, pandemic stuff anymore either. So what uh, I'm, I figured I'd do. Yeah, I think so. Are we allowed to say that now? I mean, I'll still call it funky mode just for the fun of it, but. Oh, finally. <laughs> yeah. Just for <laughs> pressers. COVID 19. Oh, that felt so good. Uh, I'm not sure on that YouTube. That so on the good. I can finally say it without getting demonetized. <laughs> yes. I don't think you ever Whoa. couldn't say it because our affiliate sponsor, Podbean, <laughs> yeah. is but super anyways, bad. And they uh, I go to lunch speech. every. Well, ever like since that. restaurants open lunch, I've been going for wings every Wednesday of a group of friends. Uh, there's Yaz and Jacob, who are respectively the co-owner and manager at Epic Games and more here, because, you know, they, they are friends at this point. I've been shopping there since I was a teenager, right? 
Uh, and also, like, some other local friends, including Marco, who runs BC Smoke Shop. And I was talking with them once. They're like, hey, Jamie, you know how you bought the one Ouya we ever got in the store? I was like, yeah. I was like, well, I didn't buy it. I traded Pokemon cards for it. They're like, well, whatever. You took it off our hands. I was like, yeah. They're like, so we got a box one in, and it's yours. I'm like, what do you mean it's mine? I mean, like, you're taking it. We're not, no, no we, we don't want it. It's just, I was like, why would I want an another Ouya? They're like, how about this? I'm like, we want to sponsor a video on you. I was like, okay. And they're like, and we know, and as you know, we all have thoughts on the Ouya. I'm like, right, it's a rancid piece of garbage. They're like, exactly. They're like, we want to sponsor a video where you go in depth on that and then give away the box Ouya that we are giving you. It's just probably, and I'm like, this is one of the most fun sponsored vids I've ever worked on, <laughs> even if I've, uh, I, but I, for the longest time, I was like, how do I start this off? Because, it, you know, my the reason I hadn't talked about the Ouya before is the same reason I'm probably never going to do a video on Sonic 06. Like, what's new to say on it? So I'm like, well, and this one, why don't I just, you know, embrace the fact that there's right. already been documentaries on it. Everyone knows it's garbage. Why don't I go into my memories of the missed potential of it? And then hire frickin' Gilbert Gottfried off of Cameo for the intro. I'm like, because it, who better than the that's parrot right. from... You heard it from right. Aladdin? Yeah. Yeah, who better than the frickin' parrot from Aladdin to go over why the Ouya yeah. is just a terrible piece of garbage that should be, be shoved up the booty hole of history. You know, I think I think what's funny is like, what's new to say about it? Everyone's already taken a pot shot at it. That's like maximum disrespect. It's just like it's, mm -hmm. but it's so true because everyone has moved on to shitting all over the Atari yeah. VCS and the uh, yeah, Amico. I'm, I'm, just that's because, sad. You know, like, this is a, like, you know, what we're talking about. Is. Is, <laughs> I'm happy to see some actual new consoles coming out that look really interesting. Like, um, I'm hoping to get my hands on a play date, if only because. That looks so unique, you know? It's by the guy who designed Katamari. It has a crank. And also, the Steam Deck looks remarkably... Well, it looks interesting. I'm Like, I'm not going to buy one, if only because I, I don't know where... I'll be honest, until I move house, I just it's, don't uh... know where I'd put it. But, like, the play date's super small. Are it you going to be buying the Game looks, Boy Advance? Definitely looks switchy. <laughs> I mean, that's already my boyfriend. I don't need to. <laughs> I already got one of those. <laughs> but I honestly am way more excited about the play date yes. than the Steam Deck. Honestly, like, I'm just curious about the crank. I'm like, right, this thing going to play Sega Adam Bass Murray Fishing or no? See. <laughs> brain blast oh my god brain blast you solved it Look, you just made play the date devs i mean i know we're already date. in contact but like Take get back in fishing. contact make it happen look all i'm saying is it's better than what the gizmondo had that was make sticky balls you're yeah. already doing better than sticky <laughs> balls but we can do even better <laughs> It's a okay, hard to do so on that note, I think we've already plugged Podbean. All right, we got we got to wrap uh, your this own up. podcast posting <laughs> for by uh, using the link uh, podbean.com slash speeder or using the code speeder at checkout, and also Riverside FM, who we record with now. Link in the description. Uh, if you have ideas for future episodes, uh, Jamie at stuffweplay.com or Jazzy at stuffweplay.com, just email us. And in addition. Uh, yes, you can not, you can listen to us not just on Podbean, but since others have asked, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, we're all on there. And finally, <laughs> yes, and you can become listen a to Stuff us We Simps on our Patreon, <laughs> the Stuff We Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Simply play. <laughs>
for as low as a dollar a month. Uh, special, special thanks to Abby Hornerbrook, who's in their $10 tier. We gotta view. close it out. Join a $10 up tier on Patreon. We will read your name out on the show. Jazzy's part of Cleveland Audio Mixology. She edits these episodes. Thank you very much for listening. I've been Jamie. <laughs> Stay classy, and we'll see you, literally, with our eyes, next time. I've been Jazzy.